Hey guys, welcome to my Rotom teaching series, and this episode will be all about the gods in the godlands, how to farm them, uh, what pots they drop, enemy patterns and shizzle. This video is aimed at early mid-game players that have at least a 30 heal, 30 magic kill pet and some pots to buy a starting set with. This is your average realm of the mad god map. The centre of the map is the godlands, this is where the gods gather to be killed by several players every day. Here's a quick clip of me teleporting to the G-Lands safely. I don't recommend this if you're a low level player, but it's the quickest way to get to G-Lands. And this is my Rotom Recommend section. I recommend you bring a knight to Godlands, mainly because if you're a mid-level player, putting on gear like this, which cost around 4 death for the whole set, you, you do, let, you do uh, sit on like 30 death, which is pretty good. I mean, you can take a few hits without dying, which is pretty nice, even if you do not have a good pet. There are 11 beautiful gods in the godlands, all dotted around this lovely photoshop picture. The end ancient drops death pots, it does low damage, but it predicts the player's movement. Here is movement predicament in action. Look at that predicament. Next up is the beholder, it drops death pots, it shoots shots that blind you, and the white projectiles it shoots deal heavy damage, but they're fairly easy to dodge, which is great. Just look at these mad dodging skills. Oh beholder, when will you learn to hit? This is the blind stasis effect, which I'm sure you've seen before. Now we have the Jijin. He drops speed pots, he shoots lots of bullets, and he explodes on death. The Jin's can be very annoying to fight, especially if you have very low defense, because getting inside to get a hit on to kill them can be very difficult. Here is the Sprite God. It drops attack pots, it deals heavy damage, it shoots a quiet bullet, and the minions also drop Sprite Worlds. The bullets are slow and easy to dodge, but it can be annoying getting hit by that quiet shot. And here you can see a sprite world dropping from the sprite world minion. This is the white demon, it drops attack pots, it does armor piercing damage, and if you're playing as a melee character, you will take a lot of damage and these guys will quickly become your worst enemy. The bullets are slow and very easy to dodge, but if you're playing a high defense melee character like I am in the video, you'll be taking a lot of damage and you won't even realize it. Here's the Medusa, the most hated of them all. It drops speed pots, it does a lot of damage very quickly, it's easy to dodge and it does AoE damage. Here you can see the Medusa throwing one of its AoE bombs. They're very dangerous from Medusa as they do a lot of damage and they can catch you off guard. Here's the Leviathan machine gunner, it drops death pots, it shoots lots of bullets and does lots of damage, it's very hard to dodge. I would recommend avoiding challenging Leviathans considering it's not worth the risk and they're very hard to attack. Here are the Constructs, they drop attack pots, they're very easy to dodge, but they deal a lot of damage to low defense characters. The shots are very slow moving and very easy to dodge, as I said before, but the grey Construct will throw a ball which is slightly faster and will do a little bit more damage. Remaining Constructs sometimes move on to other Constructs nearby to form a bigger group. And lastly, this is the Slime God. It drops death pots, it looks fabulous, and it's hard to dodge. It shoots slowing bullets. Getting used to the gods can be difficult, but try to single each one out and learn the attack pattern for yourself. Thanks for watching. 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 Thanks for watching.